uh, either uh, you'll be getting a zero you may uh, you may uh, draw the match or you may win the match or you might lose the match right so you'll be getting any one of these three output so out of this three value so max so this is the max if max starts to play so max will pick the maximum value alone so which means the max of the value on the runner which will be a one so that is something we call it as a max will always pick the maximum value max and the uh, runner we can take that we are the max so the player one who is going to play with the computer so we call it as max so number of focus on the runner fully with uh, how to win the game so that was our focus right but uh, if you take that computer point of view or the opponent point of view opponent minimum um, we call it as a min node right so this min node will always try to pick the minimum value which means uh, if this is a case assume that this is a max value and if this is a case so min what it does is min will pick the minimum value not the maximum value so it will make the opponent to lose the game right so that is the point i just want to tell you a max will pick the maximum value and min will pick the minimum value so this is what i just want to tell about the min max and uh, coming to the point uh, right uh, uh, what do you mean by alpha beta puning so i told that uh, alpha uh, instead of max and min we are going to make it as alpha node and the beta node. So I just represent that max node, we can call it as alpha node and the min node, we call it as a beta node. And the max stores the alpha, max node stores the alpha value and the min node stores the beta value, clear? So, so apart from that, uh, and uh, we do have a uh, discuss about uh, how to find uh, E of J. So E of J is nothing but I told the formula is a count, count of uh, number of rows or column or a diagonal with respect to uh, a max. Uh, we can make it as available to just a minute. So available to max minus and you are going to repeat the same for available to main so and uh, i told how to find the e of j function uh, just a minute. so i told how to find the e of j function right so now and uh, also we discuss something about uh, the game called tic tac toe game if uh, the max plays a game and the min plays over here so so this is what the point so now i am asking you to find the e of j so i hope that you are comfortable with this finding of e of j right so max would be rows column diagonal of winning availability so max can win with this row and this row but this row max cannot win because already the min plays the point here right so inga vandha nan indha row la vandha nanna win panna mudiyadu so that's the point i just mark it as x so two rows and max can win this column and this column so 2 plus 2 two columns and max can with this diagonal right so but not with this diagonal because already min place the coin here so plus 1 right so minus similarly for min we have to write a number of rows so number of rows in the sense min can win this game by using this row and this row this row cannot be done by min right so and also the co uh, column wise one two so two plus two minus sorry plus and one diagonal right so where min can win but this diagonal cannot be win because max plays a coin so almost you will be getting five minus five the value is going to be zero so i told that the match is going to become a draw if this is the case board of case clear so yesterday we discussed about this thing so apart from that uh, we do started to discuss about uh a K play algorithm. So let me tell you how the K play algorithm works. So, do you have any questions?